Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There is plenty of content to catch up on, friends. And if you're returning, well, you know what I'm going to say. Friends, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel. Um, I have so much fun being here with you, and it is only my hope that you also enjoy your time while you're here with me, friends. So let's get to today's reading. Today we are going to be looking into who is thinking of you and why. Friends, you know what to do. We have three groups to choose from, um, and all of these stickers are from our friend Collectric Collections. I've been tagging the sticker makers down below because I know I've been getting more questions about that. So um, yeah, if you're interested um, in the description, I also link, um, I, I think I have the charms linked and I believe tarot decks are oftentimes linked. So, um, I know sometimes you guys want to know what I'm using over here. Um, all right. We have three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, and welcome to your reading, friends. <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking into who is thinking of you and why, friends. But before we jump in, two things. One, it's Mercury Retrograde. So you guys already know if you've been there, done that with this person, you're over it. My sincere apologies. Feel free to click off the reading. Same Z's if I happen to trigger you or if the messaging is confusing, anything like that, friends. Um, those are just signs that it's not your story. You could just be living in a different timeline than a bigger part of the majority of the collective. Um, all right, my group number ones. Let's see. Let's see who this person is that's thinking of you. And then we'll be asking the question of why. Why are they thinking of you? My group number ones, thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for the collective and my group number ones. My group number ones, please. Who is thinking of them? Who's thinking of my group number ones? What can we know, please? Who is thinking of them and what can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Who's thinking of them and what can we know? Messages for my group number ones. Who's thinking of them? Who is this that's thinking of them? Messages for my group number ones, please. Who's thinking of my group number ones? This is someone who there is a lot of, um, I don't know. It's like they're either feeling the heavy burden or you are, or it was just, there was a lot going on and that's why things couldn't really take off or couldn't get off the ground, or maybe um, that's why things haven't been able to move forward right now. This is someone who's feeling the burden of not being able to have a fresh start. They're, they don't want it this way, or this is someone that could be going through some kind of, uh, maybe it's a financial difficulty, or they, they're not free in some way to be able to start new this person there's someone who's either in the process of letting go like this could literally feel like someone is like selling their belongings right now like letting go like that i'm getting i'm letting go but i'm trying to gain some monetary from it so that's not for everyone that's for some of you so maybe that's an indicator as well maybe um yeah, you see them posting something online where they're selling, they're selling something like personal items. Why the Knight of Swords in reverse? Who is thinking of my group number ones? Who's thinking of my group number ones? Who's thinking of my group number ones? So whoever this is, they're not happy with, yeah, this is someone who doesn't feel worthy or they're not free. They could literally be um, in another relationship or their job schedule is crazy or they went through some kind of um, financial hardship and they're trying to recover from that. I don't think that you guys would know that. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. This feels like it's someone who is really thinking back. 
to how things, so they're thinking about how things could have been or the potential that was there and they carry the burden of things not being able to move forward. There is some kind of, if it's not self-blame, they're blaming something about their circumstances. Um, I feel like there's a difference between those two things, blaming ourselves or blaming our circumstances. So I don't, I don't know if that can also be an indicator of who this is. Why the four of pentacles in reverse? So this is someone that you're not talking to right now, but it feels like things here are still it's like there's still some movement happening that I don't I don't know if you can see or not. Meaning I think this person is still going through some kind of letting go or death and rebirth or before they're able to have a new beginning. And I think that's also a, a way that you would know who they are. Now, some of you um, know this person from work. You guys get along really well or you have common interests, but they feel like they can't pour into this or like explore this or they can't even like make plans with you. If they do make plans, it's almost like they're hard to keep. But for many of you, this is someone that you're not talking to at all. We have Aries, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. Strong on the Aries. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. This is someone that thinks about you, Taurus maybe, it doesn't have to be. But this, or this is, it definitely feels like it's the energy of someone that uses their position or their title. Um, they might get attention because of that, but they might use that as to why they don't have time for this or time to reconcile or why they can't. Or maybe they feel like, I think also part of the feeling that's coming through is they know that they need to come in like proper, <laughs> I just heard. <laughs> um and the, they're thinking about you. Yeah, heavy on the on the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag, but especially Aries. All right. Lovers, star card, knight of wands in reverse. The devil. Yeah, there's definitely um, self-sabotaging and ego coming through. But there's also like a lot of lust for those of you that this is someone who you had something going on with. If you did have something going on with them, it, it doesn't feel like you ever got clarity or resolution or maybe they were just inconsistent. But there's still some tie between you or some kind of link possibly. That three of pentacles for a lot of you. I feel like there could be uh, mutuals involved. That's been coming up in the collective. This person really wants a new beginning with you, but they have regrets and they feel guilty. They want to apologize for something, but they go back and forth on that. Yeah, this is someone, I just saw the devil and the knight of cups and the three of swords. This is someone that could have, maybe for some of you, they hurt you or there it was a breakup. All right, let's continue. Let's see why they're thinking of you. Thank you, Spirit. What else can we know, please? Why is this person thinking of my group number ones? What else can we know? Why are they thinking of my group number ones? Messages for my group number ones, please. What can we know? Why are they thinking of my group number ones? They want a new opportunity. Ace of Pentacles. Why are they thinking of my group number ones? They see you as an opportunity for growth. Yeah, they, um, they're thinking about, so a part of them, it's like this rest was necessary, or it's like they're thinking about how maybe you're taking a break from the burden of this or the drama. You made something clear to them where something's been made clear 
they were kind of living in an illusion or they were, listen, they really thought, <laughs> they really thought one thing and maybe you showed them another or something became very obvious or something is becoming obvious during this break. Why are they thinking of my group number ones? There's this feeling here of release and they, it, they feel, I feel like they know why or they're gaining a let's just say this they're gaining a way better understanding of whatever this is or something connected to you if you know what i'm talking about i feel like that'll make more sense because i'm having a hard time making sense of it but let's just say i feel like they're just gaining some insights right now during this break they want to make things right they're trying to, um, they are viewing this time apart or they are taking some time to themselves because this person, this is kind of how they are. There's someone who has to retreat. Um, it's almost like, don't worry about it. Or it's maybe that's just how they regulate themselves. Now, the other thing I'm getting is that during this break, they're getting over some kind of anxiety or some kind of worries that they had in regards to this connection. I feel like this is the energy of someone who's thinking of like a head. Where do we go from here? How can I make this better? So they're moving out of a place of anxiety and into more of a, what can I do about it? They think about like popping in, apologizing or, you know, checking in something like that. Why the page of pentacles in reverse? Why the Seven of Cups? Yeah, they want to come towards you. And they've realized things that I don't think they realized in the past. Like I'm, I said, it's almost like they were living in some kind of illusion or they were maybe delusional. They were delu. They needed a fucking delulu checkpoint, right? Um, and something, they're starting to realize something. Why the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Things that they need to work on. They want to put effort into this. Yeah. So it almost feels like whatever happened between you guys or something happened in this person's life that's triggering them. Yeah, this person's. So let's just say that this time apart has really been a time for them to realize some shit. This person, um, there's things that they want to clear up and there's things that they've now realized. And maybe that's why. There's this feeling of, I get it now, or I see it now, or I want to tell group one. And it feels like this is, this didn't come from a conversation that they had with anyone else. This like came from almost like from within themselves. Someone could be a Pisces. Cancer's coming through as well. One more, please. The high priestess and ace of swords. It's like the silence has been very clear. They get it now. They're thinking about how you walked away or how they've realized things that they need to walk away from. They've realized a lot of things. They could be realizing that you walked away because maybe there was someone else involved or, um, again, inconsistencies, all kinds of things, right? This person is starting to see it. And now they're thinking of what's next They're Now they're like, okay, I get it. You proved your point. Now, what can I do? Uh, it doesn't feel the energy of someone that has fully given up. If I'm <laughs> being honest, TBH. Now, of course, if this is someone you don't want to deal with, but if this is someone that you strategically, you know, disconnected from, created distance with or disengaged from, and even if it wasn't strategic and you were like, okay, well, you've given me nothing to work with, so I'm out of here. It's like now they're like, oh, I get it. Oh, I see it. All right. Let's see what else. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. Why is this person thinking of them? They're thinking of how you just like dropped them. 
or you pulled back. That did not feel good on their end, but they understand. Like I said, it's like they get it. That Knight of Wands makes me feel like you just didn't want to deal with it anymore. You're not like fighting for this anymore. You're just over it, right? Who can blame you? All right, so this person, they if, if you're wondering if they were realizing some shit, it's like, yeah, they realize it. They also see you as like moving on and moving forward. All right, that's a little bit about who's thinking of you. My group number ones. Let's see what your oracle cards want to say. We'll do initials and charms as well. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Mystery. This person could have kept things from you. Or right now they're wondering what's going on with you as well. We have cleanse. We have intuition. Yeah, so that high priestess card kept coming up. So maybe some of them feel intuitively connected to you. Look at all these dark colors too, which makes me think of nighttime and mysticism and all of the stuff that we're here for. <laughs> So this ending brought someone peace. Maybe they're starting to see you, view you as being at peace with it. Or maybe their realizations that they're having are bringing them peace. What else, please? Consciousness, illuminate. Yeah, you guys, things are coming to light with this person. They're starting to realize like what makes them happy or there's, yeah, I think they're just realizing some shit now that you're gone, perhaps, right? This person could be very creative or you are. Someone could be a very like outside of the box, like thinker. They're also trying to come up. I just heard creative solution. They're also trying to come up with some kind of creative solution to this situation. Like I said, a part of them just almost wants to just show up and be cute. Um, and if you know that's not possible, then maybe that's what they fantasize about because it seems like this person could have been living in fantasy land and something became very clear to them. Some kind of illusion was shattered. All right. We have snow number 43. That reminds me of that ice king, the king of swords. Someone could be cold and closed off. Their little snow is melting, though. We have number 12, dog on a leash. This person is holding back. Look at how that dog just wants to run. It reminds me of when I see my neighborhood dogs. They see like a squirrel or something, and some of them just, they pull so hard on the leash wanting to run, and it's almost like this person is holding back. Then we have rabbit in the air, number 33, binkies, being happy. There is something about happiness. Maybe this is your energy coming through where now you feel happier. Now that you've released this energy or released this burden, uh, maybe this was holding you back as well. You feel more at peace with this ending. And we have number 45, the stone wall. Someone here did put up a stone wall or maybe you did. Um, I do feel someone is trying to protect themselves, but also keep others away. Perhaps um, that could have been this person or maybe that's how they view you right now. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's get some initials. Not me catching my little sleeves on fire. <laughs> Friends, if you follow me on IG, you saw one of these letters, you guys, <laughs> I was going to film. So when I was filming group three of yesterday's reading, um, you know, I cleared everything. I throw the initials back in their bowl and then I, I cleanse everything. And then I'm sitting here and I'm doing the intro to group three and I just see like a bunch of smoke. And I, I at first I thought that my cards caught on fire. No, bitches. Guess what happened when I threw these back in the bowl? One of them landed inside of the candle and it literally like caught on fire. I was like, oh my God. In case anyone um, is wondering, that's funny. It was a letter K and I was just about to push, pull K out of there. So if you are a K name or K is an important letter to you, let's just say um, K's demanded attention since yesterday. And you do have, you have two of them in here. So Catherine, Katie, KB, um, KR, 
We also have Uno. Someone could have been playing Uno. Or the number one is important. One, one, eleven, eleven. Uno, uno. That's what it reminds me. <laughs> that would be Onse, my friends. We have ZY. We have Zai. We have HW, Homework, or Hollywood. Another H, HQ, Headquarters, at Headquarters. Did you meet them at the Headquarters? At what Headquarters? I don't know. We have New Mexico. Mr. Mr. You, Mystery. Mystery used to be um, attractive, and now it's just a turn off, perhaps. <laughs> uh, let's see. New York, Brooklyn, Rhode Island, so East Coast coming through. Row, Rue. Someone could be a rower. That's interesting. Not me with the little, not that being the rowing action. All right, friends. Let's see what your charms want to add. Thank you, sit. All right. We have a heart shaped yes, and we have the heart shaped you are enough. So you guys probably had to draw boundaries in this situation. We have the melted Mickey, so there could be a connection to, a connection to childhood, children, past memories, being intoxicated perhaps. We have the Mexican flag coming through. What else do we have? We have the hand holding the flowers, so this makes me think of a gesture. That makes me think of that page of cups as well, trying to give you something, a gesture. Then we have the nine millimeter dagger. Someone could be very passionate, fire sign energy, um, they could be wanting to pull the trigger on their passion. Someone could be religious as well. Catholic, perhaps. Um, Irish Catholic, Mexican Catholic. All of the guilts. All right. Oh, no, not someone being Catholic and with a Jewish ancestry. Not the, not the double guilt. Listen, it happens. All right, friends. Um, that's what I have for you today, my group number ones. Please take care of yourselves, and I will catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into who is thinking of you and why. Friends, two things to keep in mind. One, it's that the at the time that this video is posting, it is Mercury retrograde. So if I, if I happen to pick up energy of someone from the past that you've been there, done that, totally over, my sincere apologies. All you have to do is close out of the reading. That just means you're living in a different part of the timeline than um, the bigger majority of the people watching that group. The other thing is, you guys know what's up. It's a collective reading on YouTube, friends. As fun as they can be, I know they can also be triggering if you hear something that you don't want to hear. So if that does happen, or if you find the messaging to be confusing, or if you're just not really vibing with me, that happens too, friends. Um, all you have to do is click off the reading because it's not your story. All right, let's begin. My group number twos, thank you for joining me. And thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for the collective and my group number twos. My group number twos, please. Who's thinking of them? Who's thinking of my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. Who's thinking of my group number twos? And what can you tell us? How would my group number twos know who this is? Who's thinking of my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos. Who's thinking of them? And what can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number two. So who's thinking of them? What can we know? Who is this? Who's thinking of them? We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who moves very slowly. Um, that Ten of Pentacles tells me you would know them. Um, maybe there's something about their career, their home, their foundation. It could be through work. This is someone who's moved very slowly in love because of those things that I just mentioned. This is someone who is currently in separation from you or hermit mode from you. Hermit mode. <laughs> That's what I call it. I'm going hermit mode. <laughs> oh, this is someone who wants an ace of cups with you. They want a new beginning. I said, ooh, because it came after the temperance in reverse. This person is not digging this time apart or this uh, separation. They're frustrated. They're being very triggered right now. 
this person, it's almost like, oh, this person's thirsty for you, my friends. You know what it is? This person's thirsty and that cup is right out of reach. They're like, right, right there. It's right out of reach. It's what it feels like. And that makes it more frustrating. Let's see why. Who is this? Who's thinking of my group? Number two is why the Knight of Swords. You know what, bitches? That Knight of Swords, I, I could have sworn it was the Knight of Pentacles. That's why I said this is someone that moves slowly. So I'm going to leave that there because I think that message was meant for you guys. But now that I see that the Knight of Swords, um, let me tap into that energy. Nothing is coincidental as we know. Why the Ten of Pentacles, please? Why the Knight of Cups? Why the Temperance in Reverse? Something caught them off guard. They want a second chance. They feel like there's tension between you or there's competition for you. Why the Hermit? You haven't talked to this person? This person, there's something about them where they either didn't give enough, something's not reciprocated, or they feel ghosted. And because of that, especially if they feel ghosted or if you haven't been around or they haven't seen you or they don't know what's going on with you, this isn't really, it's giving them this really intense itch to like do something about it. That frustration that I was feeling earlier, it's over here too. It's just sprinkled in. This person got taken by surprise by something that happened. Um, something regarding emotions between you guys or love or um, something that they thought about the situation. I don't know. It's like something happened. This is someone who I think they get attention or they're successful in their career or what they do. Um, Aquarius energy, Scorpio coming through and Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius coming through strongly. This person is feeling frustrated right now. Why the Ten of Pentacles with the star? This person works a lot. They might own a business. They're like determined to be successful or to be seen. Some of them might even want like, um, it sounds dramatic, but some of them might want, might want fame in their industry or to be known. I'm getting legacy. Someone wants, it's very important for this person to leave some kind of legacy. That's also how you'd know who they are. Now, whoever this legacy person is, they weren't planning on part of their legacy getting <laughs> getting uh, those plans being distracted by whatever's going on with you. Um, yeah, because this person, they're it's almost like they're they're getting ready to take some kind of action impulsively because it's been so long, or because. Yeah, they 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 don't have access to you. Why the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Tower? The world in reverse. They're saying it's not over. This person could travel a lot. Why the Hermit with the Eight of Wands? Oh, they go back and forth between reaching out. Someone could be blocked or they wonder. Or maybe you've blocked them or you've thought about it. There's some in and out energy of communication and yeah, they're ready to talk though. That it, during the silence, they're ready to talk. Why the temperance? Or they want to talk Why the temperance in reverse. They don't want this. They don't want this. They don't like it. They don't want this. They want to do something about it. Why the ace of cups with the five of wands? One more there, please. They're undecided what to do. They want two of cups with you, but they feel at a standstill. What else can you tell us? So by now you should know who this is, I feel like. <laughs> Ace of coins. All right, so 
they're, um, oh yeah, they want to come towards you and make you an offer that they feel is like worthy. It's like worthy. Um, this person, they're, it's almost like they're saying part of the reason that I work as much as I do is because I want to have more for, for you or for this. It's like, this is someone who wants to offer you something that's more than what they currently have. And they don't like how things currently are with, between you guys. Now I am going to Delulu checkpoint. Let's Delulu checkpoint that. And I'm going to tell you guys why, because yes, that is true for a lot of you, but some of you, they could be viewing you as, um, what, regardless of what it is, this person views you as a good, as an opportunity, as someone that they want to explore in. But this is where the Delulu checkpoint comes in because this person has the tendency some of them, not all of them, this is where you're going to know if they're selfish or depending on how they showed up or what they did. It's like this perspective of what they think that they need to bring to you to impress you might be based off of some hurtful action that they took. Now, if they didn't do anything like that, and if you're like, yeah, they work a lot, or I know money's important. I know that they have an issue with their self-worth or you know, it's almost like they can't view themselves as being worthy or they want to give you this. It's like, then you'll kind of know which side you land on with that. Um, sometimes it's good to check in though, whatever it is though, it does feel like this person is very frustrated. Um, they don't like that things are the way they are. They feel like things are unstable between you and them. And they definitely feel you as being in a either better position than them or situation than them. I don't know. It's, it's there. They have you up on a, on a pedestal and this person, they are conflicted. Um, and right now they're a little bit at a standstill. They're unsure what to do because they want the ace of cups. They want the two of cups, um, but they have five of wands. There's other conflict or pressures or there's other people. There's other things that are pulling at their energy. All right. If it's other people, I don't, it doesn't feel like it's romantic. It feels like it's responsibilities, but only you guys will know because I feel like this message is pretty specific. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if it's resonating, let me know group twos. All right. Thank you. Spirit has group two been getting the Delulu checkpoints lately. I feel like you guys have, you guys always pick in number two. Is that? <laughs> Do you guys like to go by timestamps, by sticker, or by the number that you always go with? I'm curious about that. I might do a poll on that. Just out of curiosity. My Gemini moon wants to know. My Gemini also wants to know why is this person thinking of you? Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Why is this person thinking of my group number two is this person misses you. I just saw the six of cups. They're thinking of the good times. Something from the past though. They still have some stuff to sort through or fix. Why are they thinking of my group number twos? Because they're trying to figure out what to do. Because they're three of swords. Messages for my group number twos. Why is this person thinking of them? Because a part of them, it's like they right now, they feel like it's either not the right time. Again, maybe they don't have everything that they want to have by the time they come to you. So it's like they're choosing. It's almost like they're choosing their, to put their focus on something else for now, or they're just not making a decision. They're also, you know, ego is definitely at play, but this king of swords, it's like they're overthinking. They're also very, very logical and practical. So it's like, if it doesn't make sense, like they can't make a, a decision based on emotions or desire, at least not in this moment, they feel like they can't. They think about you a lot is what it feels like. Yeah, there's the desire. But then they also like, see, they're coming up. I feel like some of them have some excuses, but I have to work, but I need more. 
And I mean, I guess that's a valid excuse, you know, depending on your situation. You, you got to give it to this person. They don't want to come and be with you or date you and you're the one paying everything or something or you're now responsible for their problems too or they have problems that are they're bringing into your life. Like something like that, you know, um, could be factors, of course. Messages for my group number twos. Why is this person thinking of my group number twos? They want to come back together. For some, it's like they don't want to be single from you. Um, they also think of becoming better. It's like, I just heard better and better and better. Um, someone wants to be better. Why the two of swords? Why is this person thinking? Yeah. Cause they don't feel like they can right now. It's either a bad time or they don't have enough or, um, I don't know. Some, some just, they just, they're not sure. They, I definitely feel like it's a timing thing. Why Why the king of swords? We're getting Gemini energy. Yeah, they're putting their emotions, like they're, they're trying to look at this from a very cold or very logical place. And they feel very confident in their plan and what they're doing. They feel very confident in... Um, how they view the situation and they're like, I know, I know what I got to do. And it may not be what they want to do right now, because if they did what they wanted to do, they might be trying to come towards you before they, before it's smart to do so. I'm almost getting like, they're trying to be smart and they're definitely look at that King of cups in reverse with that King of swords. They're putting their heart in their, their feelings there it's off to the side it's like they they're 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 staying on track they're staying on plan why the nine of pentacles in reverse three of coins they think about how you guys could come together work well together you guys might have a work connection as well or they admire something that you're doing or you're building there's like energy here that's like feeding off of each other when it comes to that maybe they're even like inspired by you they find it very hard not to come towards you, but they're also, they're saying that they're working very hard to like better the situations. That's also what kind of keeps them moving is, um, I feel like it keeps them motivated. And right now they're five of wands, three of swords. They're disappointed, but they feel like they're doing what they have to do. There's a lot that's pulling at this person's attention and energy but it feels like their attention and energy, if they're kind of giving it to anyone, even if it's at a mental capacity, it seems like you're definitely on their mind. This person like zones out a lot or maybe, I don't know, when they're traveling or in the car. All right, Queen of Cups, Four of Pentacles, they haven't let you go especially if the, if you've shown this person love. You guys could be water signs. All right, lots of messages coming through, but we're going to leave it there. Um, strong on the Aries, strong on the fire. Um, sorry, um, air signs. I was looking at air signs. <laughs> I mean, everything's showing up. Literally, we have earth, air, water, and fire. And of course... Miss Leo over here showing up with the strength card. All right. This person's a very hard worker. This person, they uh, have a plan, guys. <laughs> they have a plan. Hopefully you're not mummified by the time that they're done with that plan, huh? By the time they're ready to execute their plan. It seems like they are executing it, though. Let's try to give them some credit. All right, group number twos. Let's see. We'll do oracle cards and then initials and charms. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Who's thinking of them and what can we know? Thank you, spirit. We have fear. Fear is holding them back. Someone's anxieties could be triggered. This person could have frustrated you for sure. Someone's had, uh, trusting the process, I just heard. 
someone's uh, growing through their fear, someone's learning to trust, someone's fear could trigger um, moods, you know, of course, but anger is coming through and anxiety and mystery. So there's a lot here that's like unknown. I feel like there's a lot here that's unsaid between you guys as well. But it feels like that's where this person's coming from, my group number twos. Let's see what the little carrot cards want to add to your situation. More Pisces energy as well coming through with that mystery card. It reminds me of the moon. Rainbow. This person sees you as the rainbow after the rain. So uh, what did I say? I feel like they're inspired or motivated or like you keep them... Like, it's almost like I on the prize or like, why am I doing this? And even if you're not the soul, we're not saying you're like the center of their world, but we are saying that you are definitely a part of whatever this person is planning or whatever is inspiring them to continue to push and get themselves to a better place. Um, financially, physically, mentally, whatever it is, right? We all have our things we want to improve on. And it definitely feels like this person is being held back by that. We have number 54, the wolf. That makes me think of the lone wolf. Um, this also makes me think of full moon energy, which feels intense. Maybe sometimes the intensity of feeling the energy between you and this person. Um, maybe you feel it more intensely sometimes than others. Number 15, the fast dog. Someone here could have been a runner or someone here um, could try to, um, I don't know, move things along quicker. This person could be very assertive or they get things done quickly. We have number 43, snow. So it could be something about winter, the cold as well, feeling left out, feeling out in the cold. Let's get you guys some initials. Thank you, spirit. All right. Um, w A, what in the Wakanda? You guys, <laughs> we literally have, oh my gosh, please tell me we have an N. We don't, but I'm sticking with it. Wakanda. Maybe someone just watched Black Panther. Um, We'll leave that there. All right. With DC coming through. Initials are DC, East Coast. We have J, S. Junior, someone could have a junior or be a junior. Juniors. We have W, Y. We have two Ks. Skate could be important. FC. That reminds me of football club. Football as in soccer. For the Americans. <laughs> uh w y wisconsin that reminds me of wisconsin what in the cheese curds <laughs> all right i'm trying to see if there's anything else sf san francisco keeps coming through i feel like that came through a couple of days ago too die diana um k names kelly a d AC. So names that like the initials kind of like someone that could go by their initials is what I'm getting. All right. Time for my group number two, please. Time for my group number two. I almost called you guys group threes. I don't know why. All right. Let's see what we pulled. We have journey. Someone here could go on a journey. They're on a journey. What was that? I almost dropped. Don't be fake. So this person, they, I don't think they've been open about their feelings or these alleged plans we picked up on, huh? We have Amy Winehouse, um, back to black. We're going to put that under fear. Um, that movie is about to come out too. Let me know what you guys think of the trailer. And we have the sacred heart with the dagger. So lots of passion, but also lots of pain. I feel like this person carries some level of pain too. Maybe it's also like their self-worth. Um, or, you know, maybe they did go through some kind of hardship and they do just need some time to recover from that. But it seems like it's a very prominent energy in their life. 
that's kind of uh, making them stay stay on course and stay in place, which is not coming towards you is what it feels like at this moment. All right, my group number two is that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading, but more than anything, I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into who's thinking of you and why. My group number threes, two things before we get into it. One is just pointing out the fact that it is Mercury retrograde at the time that this reading is posting. So if I happen to pick up energy on a past person that you want to know nothing about, my sincere apologies, it does happen. So yeah, all you have to do is click off the reading and don't claim it. That just means that you're living at a different point of the timeline than most of the people watching um, this group. The other thing being is that it is a collective reading on YouTube. So same Z's goes for if I happen to trigger you, if you're not liking the messaging or if it's confusing you, those are all just signs that the story is not for you. And it does happen, but I love you for trying. All right, my group number three is let's get into it. Um, let's see who is thinking of you. And then we'll be asking the question, why are they thinking of you? Let's see what you need to know. My group number three is thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number three. My group number three is please, Spirit. These cards are so loud. They're so scratchy. <laughs> I'm all shaking, trying to, trying to tame them. Listen, let's do this, group threes. Who is thinking of my group threes? Please, Spirit. Who is this? How would my group number threes know who this is? What can you tell us? Who's thinking of my group number threes? Thank you, Spirit. Who's thinking of my group number threes, please? A page of wands is a little hottie. Not the cutie with the booty. Listen, who is this? It might be a little younger than you. It doesn't have to be. Who's thinking of my group? Oh, this is someone. Oh, my goodness. Listen. They're not just thinking of you. They're 18 plusing you. Listen, if it's not that for the innocence, this is just someone who's very excited about you. And they're very excited about your body fluids. Oh yeah, they are. Listen, you caught me by surprise, my group number three. Is this is someone that wants to definitely get down with you. Um, this person is, I'm sorry guys, this person is really trying to take this to where I wasn't planning on taking any of the groups today. Um, this person really likes your fluids, especially if they've already had them. Um, they also want to be in places where your fluids may, may gather. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. All right, let's uh, let's clear that. This person wants to come in and heal something. There's been, yeah, the thing is, they've been thinking a lot about you lately is what it feels like, or they've been thinking back or reminiscing, and they either watch you at a distance or they've been waiting for some kind of chance. This is someone that you, this Queen of Cups, I feel like there's a lot of emotion here, whether it's them from you or you from them. I think there's definitely an emotional connection. If it's not that, then someone's a water sign. I'm getting water and fire, obviously. Um, but this temperance, the six of pentacles, they want to come in and give you something. Uh, they want to they want to give you something. Um, I know that six of pentacles can sometimes be breadcrumbing, but in this type of reading, I am not getting that. Uh, I am getting that they, they think about how they want success with you, but they want to come in and they want to, it's almost like they want to remind you of something. They want to give you something that's going to remind you of maybe how fun they are, how good it is, how good it feels. I don't know, something like that. Okay. This person is thinking about you and they're, uh, they're, uh, it's it's intense their sexual frustration is very intense but their desire is through the roof this is someone who has a lot of desire for you like i said they might be 
a little younger. For some, this is um, someone that maybe you guys haven't even, you don't know them or you don't know that they're interested in you. But for a lot of you, no, this is someone that you already know. This is someone that they, there's definitely romantic feelings here and they want to come in and heal something with you. If it's not that, maybe both of you have prominent water sign placements. But this is someone that wants to come in and just, it's almost like melt with you. There's romance, there's definitely a lot of passion, and there's a new approach that they want to take here. They're, they're also thinking of new things that they want to try with you or that they want to do with you. Oh, yeah. This person wants to please you, satisfy you, uh, give you attention. They want to be successful here. This person wants to remind you or show you. Um, oh, yeah. This person's in the, it's, uh, I almost said in the shadows are lurking, but it's only a matter of time because they haven't expressed this, at least not recently. It feels like they're kind of in the outskirts in some way. Now, if it's not, if this is your regular person that you hook up with or that you're dating right now, then this is who's thinking of you. And they're thinking of how amazing and beautiful you are and what a prize you are and how much they love uh, what you bring into their life. Now, this message applies to everyone, but, um, you know, it just feels like um, there's a lot of, it's cute. It's cute and it's a, it's a sexy reading, if you will, my group number threes. Um, let's see. Why the Six of Pentacles with the Four of Swords in Reverse? The star card, they're hopeful. Aquarius energy. Oh, yeah, because they want this the lovers. We're going to take that. Listen, this person, they want you so bad. For some of you, this is like healing through sex. Through What in the making love? Seriously. That's what it feels like is happening here for some of you. Um, you guys will know if that message is for you. Now for others of you, if this is someone that's brand new, this is a certified lover boy, lover girl, magician. This is someone who wants to pull out all the stops for you. They have some tricks they want to show you. This person's very big about wanting to please you. They're very, if this is someone that you have already hooked up with, they just want to get you so worked up and they're like, they already know what they want to do. They're like putting in the effort. This person's definitely wanting to put in the effort and move things along. That's who's thinking of you. This person thinks this, breathes this. It's like they, it's very alluring to them. Very intoxicating, I should say. It's intoxicating to me too. I'm over here getting freaking love drunk on this reading. <laughs> this person could have children or someone does. Um, it definitely feels like they have a lot of responsibilities during the day or in their everyday life. And this is, uh, this is their whipped cream and cherry on top, you know, the, whatever thoughts these are of you or whatever plans, whatever, this feels very, I'm surprised we didn't get the seven of cups, but it doesn't go into, I mean, I'm sure they fantasize, but it's almost like, this is just what they think about. And for some of them, they might have a point of reference because you guys have already in, you know, had some kind of connection with them. All right, why the page of wands with the ten of wands? They can't ignore this anymore, so they're just going to, they want to jump at an opportunity. They feel like they can't ignore this anymore. They want to return back to you. They've been focused on work. They miss you. They see pictures of you. This person's planning this plan this person is planning all right my group number 3s 
We have Gemini, Cancer, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries. Let's see who else. Libra, Taurus coming through the strongest, but obviously you guys can see the table. All signs are showing up, my friends. I love, look, let me show you guys. I have a little black light right here. But look at how, can you guys see how much they glow? I don't even know if you can see on this light. They fucking glow. Let's put it this way. If you guys wanted to read tarot in the dark, just expose these cards to some light and turn off the lights and they're so bright. Um, that's one thing I do like about them. I just don't like that they feel like sandpaper. Listen, group threes. I'm into your reading. Don't tell your friends, but group one and twos, but I think that I think this one is the winner winner chicken dinner, my group number threes. All right, thank you, Spirit. I mean, we already saw why this person is thinking of you. They want to get some of that. Some of that good good, my friends. <laughs> Messages from my group number three is why is this person thinking of them? Why is this person thinking of my group number three? Messages from my group number threes, please. Why is this person thinking of them? What can we know? What else can we know? What else can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Why is this person thinking of them? What else can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Why is this person thinking of them? They want to put in the effort or they want to uh, come in. Yeah, this person, they want to they want to ask you out or they want to like sweep you off your feet or some kind of romantic gesture. I am getting that this person wants to get together with you. Like they want to physically like get together with you. This person wants to come in and feel like they they want to impress you, but in a way where it's like, I don't know, in a way where, you know, you know what it is? It's impressed in a way where you're like, I can't believe you did that. I can't believe, are you serious right now? Like they want you to be like, oh, I can't say no. <laughs> How, how, you know, what, how did you think of that? Or how did you know I loved that? Or um, how did you think of bringing me here? I don't know. It's something like you almost, I can't, you're like, wow, you surprised me. This person's got some plans and some wishes here with you. They're thinking about how they want to approach you. They're thinking of what you're going to say. They know that, um, you, you're coming off as being either a little closed off or um, not everyone can get close to you. Um, not everyone has access to you or you're someone who's very selective about who you talk to. Some of you could be divorced um, and they, they might know that about you and um, they know you're a little guarded. Now others of you, the way that you speak, they know that you may not make it easy for them or they know that... Um, Basically, you're not going to let them kind of just get on in there. So they're almost like they're thinking about it. You know how when we have conversations in our head, like we plan them out, like we practice them, perhaps it's almost like this person's like, this is what I would say, or this is what I'm going to do. They want to make it so sweet and so just pull at your heartstrings that it's going to melt your little queen of swords sword out of the way. Why the king of cups, please? What is this person thinking about? Why are they thinking about my group number threes? Oh, man, they think about how hot you are. They think about how um, some of you guys are really like, yeah, like you just don't let people just get away with shit or you'll just like say what other people are thinking. If that's you, I see you. <laughs> I see you. Um, they just think you're so attractive and they're ready to bring some kind of anti ending to the current chapter that things are in or they want to bring things to a close and and by doing this it's them making you this offer them um, maybe sharing feelings with you making some kind of gesture this person wants reunion with you this person sees you as a soulmate or someone that they feel feels like home and they've come to realize very clearly um, what it is that they want. The more they think about you in this, the more they gain clarity on what they want. 
and what they're working towards. So they are, they manifest you or they think about this while they're working, while they're doing something, making something with their hands or doing something where their mind is allowed to kind of wander, where they're not like having to engage with people or customers or give directions. Like when they're, it's just them in their corner and them at their desk, them in their, you know, wherever, um, they think about this and they think about this a lot. They think about what you're going to say about them popping back up or about them returning. And they wonder if um, they feel like you may not trust them. And that's also part of the reason why they feel like they want to come in the way that they do. What else, please? Or you're just not an easy, yes, you're not an easy person to maybe get to know, or you just don't let anyone in your inner circle. That could be that energy as well. What else, please? Three of Swords in reverse and the Chariot. They want to move this forward and they want to heal this. They want to heal this with you. I'm telling you, they want to melt you. They want to melt you. Oh, my, my, my. Okay, we're going to put that down now. <laughs> I'm starting to think I owe you guys a spicy reading. I actually have one planned soon. Um, yeah, I'll make an announcement about that soon. But friends, your reading, if I kept going and if it was shadow play after dark, we would be getting into it. All right, to be continued. You guys will keep me posted, please. <laughs> This person, what in the soulmates? What in the this person found love in a hopeless place. They weren't they weren't thinking. Oh shit. Hold on. Let me turn these around. I got too caught up in this person's energy. All right, my group number threes. Let's get you guys your oracle cards. We're doing oracle cards today, charms and letters. Messages for my group number threes, please. Who's thinking of them and what can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. We have trust, sadness. This person was sad. If you guys had a falling out or something happened, I did, when I was flipping through the deck, I did see a tower moment, but that was going to open up a whole other can of worms. That sadness was in, in uh, reverse. Someone here is going through the motions. Oh, someone's grieving. Someone's grieving. Someone's going through some kind of transformation. Trust that there's a peaceful resolution. This person feels a lot of peace when they think of you as well. I think they trust you. Um, you guys could be feeling triggered. That's why maybe they know that they made you upset. And that's why they feel like they need to approach you in a certain way. And they're planning what they're going to say. They want to reconcile. They want to fix this. They want sex with you. They want makeup sex. That's for damn sure. Listen, what in the sexual healing? This person got that feeling. <laughs> Messages for my group number threes. Messages for my group number threes. We have 25, a lawnmower. Someone's cutting things down. Um, I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe that's for you too. Stay ready. My group number threes. Stay ready. This person's going to be popping in. Number 12, dog on a leash. They're holding back or they feel held back. Number 37, the river. They're going with the flow, trying to trust, not knowing what's right around the bend. And number 43, snow. Snow has come up in every reading today. So it could signify winter. It always makes me think like snow melts, right? Um, someone here could feel uh, be feeling lonely or left out, but it does not feel like it's a permanent feeling. Snow in this regard, especially, I imagine it being like light, it almost like doesn't stick or it's not sticking for long. Let's get you guys some letters. Thank you, Spirit. All right, what do we have? I don't like to lay out the letters on that side. I don't know why. It's just how I got used to it. All right, we have... F you. Yeah, this person is definitely interested in doing some of that. <laughs> We're going to put that there. <laughs> we have M J. Do. 
dock, dog. Someone could have a dog. That's the second mention of a dog. Maybe some of you are like, this person is a dog. We have muck, muck names coming through. We have MC. We have W and A. Makes me think of Wa, Wawa. Do you guys live near Wawa? I wish there was Wawas where I live. I've heard they're amazing. All right, my group number threes. Let's see. Messages for my group number three, please. Let's get some farms. That and um, Bucky's, right, in, in Texas, that's their thing. Do you guys have a local kind of chain or place that your area is known for? I would love to know in the comments. We have the Melted Mickey. So lots of M's. Someone's name could be Mickey, Mike. Someone's into cartoons, maybe. Look, to another Mickey. Was this the Mickey group? It's the Mickey group. Maybe someone parked in the Mickey parking lot. If you know, you know. Um, <laughs> we have Mickey wearing the ghost. Someone here maybe could have been ghosted or um, they're about to pop in and try to offer you something. Hopefully it's not a little poison apple. We have real eyes, real eyes, real eyes. So this person is realizing some things about themselves and the situation. And maybe you have as well. We have St. Selena coming through. Someone's been dreaming of you. I also think of Amor Prohibido, um, which is like mm, forbidden love. Two people that aren't supposed to be together, but somehow they're very much in love. Then we have Hot Sunday. So maybe there's a reference to friends, um, a reference to music as well. But I am feeling like maybe friends or work are involved or there's some mutuals. Maybe that's pictures that they've been seeing. It's been on other people's um, profiles, perhaps. If you know that's not possible, then you know that's not for you. All right, my group number threes, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys.